Oh, yes. Uh, good afternoon. May we come to order? And if you haven't already, if you'll look over the uh, uh, notes from the October meeting, uh, if you'll take a quick look at that, since the first item is the acceptance and approval of those minutes. May we approve? Second. Any questions? Yeah, 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 that's fine. Uh, oh, were you marked as present on there? No, just oh, an error. Can't no, approve. no, they yes. they had they had it correct. Yes. That's where they were correct. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. That's the coverage of the minutes. Um, Items for consideration. We're ready to get started. Or did we just lose our presenter? Uh, okay. okay. Um, Ahmad. Ahmad. Ahmad, we're ready for your presentation. Yes, good afternoon, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman and committee members. Mr. Cunningham asked me to talk louder, so uh, are you hearing me okay, Mr. Cunningham? Are you hearing me okay? Oh, yes, thank you, uh, yes. All right, uh, item number one, uh, we have a project, uh, this is uh, uh, what we call internally as quiet zone. Uh, this is the extension of sealed railroad safety corridor. Uh, basically, we are working in cooperation with Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad to uh, make the um, crossings uh, of railroad safe and um, so the um, engineer of the train does not have to uh, blow the whistle um, per law. Uh, before they enter the approach, uh, they have to uh, sound the whistle 15 seconds before they enter the, uh, the intersection. This project is to uh, make a safety crossing at Wilshire Boulevard and Classen, near Classen Boulevard. And we have done uh, a project uh, not with bond funds, but with uh, capital improvement funds. Um, we made uh, the intersections of uh, railroad crossing from southeast 23rd, uh, just east of Shield Boulevard, all the way to northwest 16th, which is in Okanda, runs along the E.K. Gaylord. <coughs> Um, we made it all quiet zone uh, eligible and the um, Federal uh, Transit Authority approved it. So uh, this is the location that we like to uh, allocate 250500 in bond funds, in unlisted street funds in order to uh, uh, do some safety features at this intersection. Basically, we're adding medians so the cars would not weave around the crossing. Uh, also, we will be doing some uh, upgrades to the lights. The, so that way, you know, the train will be going through without blowing the whistle. Uh, once the presentation is up, I'll show you an example of uh, um, intersection that has been done and will, this will be similar to that. Uh, by the way, uh, the, the cost of this is that actually uh, half of it is being paid for by the city. A developer is putting up half of the cost. So the total cost of this project is 500000 So we are paying half of the, the cost to make this crossing much safer. I, I, yeah, I, I have a couple of questions. I, 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 um, 
correct me if I may have misunderstood. Did you say this was basically the second quiet zone area? Yeah, this is another location that we like to do to yes. make the intersection safe, of the, the crossing safe. Yeah, there's one on the south side, correct, that extends all the way downtown, is that correct? No, so this is by Wilshire and Class. No, I know this one. I'm talking about the previous. Yeah, the, the previous one, yes. Uh, that was basically a, a area from southeast uh, 23rd all the way to Northwest 16th Street. Right, right. That uh, that corridor has been completed right. uh, back in February 27. And in, in large part, that the impetus for that really was quiet zone. I mean, it was a noise issue, correct? Yes. Is that the same for this one? Yes. Yes, it's the noise and safety. Well, I understand the safety aspect, of course, but again, I know the impetus for the first one was noise. This one, it, it's at least in that particular intersection, it's a far cry from being any residential or, for that matter, much commercial use. So it's kind of barren out there. And I was just curious as to if that's the same reason, this, this noise issue, or if it really is more of a safety. And a, 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 I believe it's a noise issue because the developer is also putting half of the cost. They like to uh, have the, uh, you know. The developer being the, the railroad? No, no. This is a private developer that, that uh, is those putting sixteen. Those what? That several acres that are for sale there. That as they is that what you're talking about? That developer that, that bought that property. Uh, it's possible. Okay. But it is the wish of the private developer to make this crossing safer. So that's why they are putting half of the money required for construction on this. No, go ahead. Are they uh, planning a development that needs to have the quiet zone rather than uh, letting it be a normal crossing? Um, that I'm not sure about. Let me have Debbie Miller, our assistant city engineer, answer that. Um we don't know what their development is at this time, but they did approach the city requesting a quiet zone project, and they've offered to put up 50% of the funds. Um, what percent? 50. Sorry. Is that better? Uh, to provide 50% of the funds for the quiet zone. But they came to the city and they approached said the city. we'd like it to be a quiet zone. Yes. So we can probably assume that they're not spending that money on a commercial pure industrial item. That's right. possible. They haven't submitted anything to the city for review as far as the development. I, I misread time. this. I thought I read that the railroad was paying the other half. It does say a joint agreement. There has to be an agreement to do the quiet zone, but the funding is, is from okay. the city. I see. But the developer isn't listed here? or it, I, I, I don't know. I just like this is in Ward Two. I'd like a little bit more information about about that. Um, uh, is that problematic? No, we can get you that information think, as much as we I have. I think I don't know the proper uh, uh, parliamentary procedural uh, issue, but I'd like to kind of defer this uh, and, and learn a little bit more about about that. Uh, is I, it's, it's really kind of unclear. Again, like I said, I I understand the quiet zone, that first one. And I know there's a lot of residential, uh, particularly in this kind of newer um, um, development or uh, development, housing development in, in downtown and near downtown. But this one is just so barren out there. It's just really nothing out yeah. there, hardly at all. I'd be interested is, in. Is there a uh, critical time item on this? Is the council expecting to? act on this at their very next meeting? I don't think so. I, th I think if we took a, a one-month deferral, we'd be fine, and that would give us time to get that information for Good. you, okay. Mr. Dover. Well, thank you for that. That's okay. the proper. That's, I would move the, for a deferral then. Okay. I don't know that we particularly needed a motion for that, but uh, anyone I, else, any other discussion or views? Anyone objecting to a deferral? I'll stay. Yeah, okay. Uh, 
Those in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, then, if you will, bring uh, what information you can at the next meeting, and we'll see if we can't get yes, this we'll one out you. of the way. Thank we'll provide you with the information at the next meeting. Thank, Thank you. So we're ready for your next item. Uh, All right, next item is the, um, basically, we are uh, requesting $75,000 in the uh, unlisted traffic control uh, funds in 2007 for uh, what we call wayfinding sign for downtown Oklahoma City. Uh, the location is in the vicinity of 13th, Northwest 13th Street to the I-40 and from North Lincoln Boulevard to Western Avenue. The purpose of these signs are to uh, develop signage, uh, which will be guiding uh, the visitors to the city of Oklahoma City to the important destination in downtown um, and enhance the visitor's overall experience, improve vehicular traffic flow, and promote walking in downtown and, pre and prevent any sign clutter. Um, basically, the material will be purchased with the money that we are requesting, and our in-house um, uh, street crews will be installing these uh, at the locations. And again, these are some example signs that we are showing for you. And the next slide shows you kind of uh, how this um, signage would be, like on the uh, traffic signal mast arm. Um, you know, some of the signs could be put on there with the, you know, certain heights to clear the pedestrians and other aspects. Also, there's like parking. Um, public parking signs that will guide the uh, traffic to go to their destination if they want to do uh, a parking, uh, a public parking area. And again, those circles are the areas that we are looking at having these signs um, installed. Any other questions or discussion on the signage? I uh, hear a motion. Those approving, aye. aye. Any opposed? Thank you. All right, next item, uh, we are requesting $250,000 in funds from the 2007 General Obligation Bond uh, Street Unlisted Funds. And uh, to put these funds into our unit price contract for uh, traffic striping. Uh, we have uh, many intersections in the city uh, that, you know, either the striping is faded or really needs to be refreshed. An example I have for you is some of the what we call continental crosswalks at the intersection that you probably have seen on downtown area. Uh, basically, the uh, intersection will be uh, restriped to be more visible and for both vehicular and pedestrian safety. So this um, this funds will go through um, our unit price, so we can issue work orders and basically enhance the intersection that badly need to be restriped and uh, refreshed. Okay. Is it only for these uh, pedestrian striping or is it also for It's also street? for the streets, you know, like lane lines and right. others, but, you know, right now there's a lot of intersection being identified that really needs to have. I can identify one in my ward that I got messed up yesterday and got in the wrong lane, got in a turn lane because the striping was so poor. I, yeah. And I wasn't, I didn't particularly go to the, on that street very often, but if the striping I think had been better, I'd known which lane I needed to be in. Yeah. So I see a need for that. Thank you. Might, might it be um, things like uh, marking those center dividers so that if you're turning left, you know there's a divider there? Yes, the, you know, the striping includes, you know, 
for uh, you know turning lanes, for lane lanes, for the pedestrian crosswalks, etc. Yes. Do I hear a second? Second. Uh, did we cover all questions and comments? Okay. Those approving, aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. That's passed. Thank you. Uh, and do you want to go to your uh, your item now? on the schedule is that thank you Ahmad um, under new business I have uh, the attachment has been provided for the scheduled committee meeting dates for 2018 um, if everyone's had a chance to review I'd just kind of like to present those to see if there was any discussions or guys were accepted maybe we approve Favor? Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Any items on the Moved. 